Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Quilters Workshop and today we're going to be doing a really quick video on how to customize some towels without embroidery. Um, a couple of years ago I started doing this thing where in all of my videos I tried to do a tutorial that didn't involve you having to go out and purchase a whole bunch of things just to make something. So I always try to uh, show you how to do something that hopefully you already have the stuff lying around or we're kind of using stuff that you might not know what to do with and actually turn it into something. So what we're doing today are some towels. Um, so this one that I'm going to show you here is probably my favorite. So I've just gone ahead and put, it's a fabric that has horses on it, all the way across the bottom of the towel where normally um, this part right here would be. Um, so basically, when you buy these panels at the fabric store, um, I'm sure you've all seen them if you haven't bought them. So you get a panel like this, and then all along the side where the selvages are, over here, there's this little print, like a little seam print all the time, every single time you buy square panels like that. And most people don't want that part, like they'll use the center part, they'll make a tote bag, um, sometimes when I've made tote bags with these, I've used that strip to make the handles, but you can't always do it. Um, well, you can, but the only problem is that when you make the handles, sometimes you can cut off what the pictures are, and once it's folded into that strip, you don't see it enough to really appreciate it or know what it is. So, that's okay to do, but if you're making a pillow, or even if you're cutting those squares and putting four or six of them together um, to make like a lap quilt or a wall hanging, you're likely going to have a hard time trying to figure out what to do with this. So sometimes this happens <laughs> where I've bought a whole bunch of panels and used all the panels and I have this bundle of, I don't know, side paneling, whatever we're going to call this, um, that goes on and on forever because I've cut it off, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, I have no plans for what to do with it, but it's so nice that I couldn't throw it out. So that happens to me a lot, and so I thought if we could cut this strip down, cut off the selvages, fold the edges under a quarter of an inch all the way around, measure your towel, the width of it, um, so that you know how long to cut the piece, and then using like... I used um, a decorative stitch on my sewing machine to hold it down, but you could hand stitch this if you want to. Um, if you have embroidery floss, you could hand stitch um, a blanket stitch all the way around it if that's something that you're interested in doing. You could just use a straight stitch, you could use just a zigzag stitch, or if you'd like, you could use a decorative stitch. So this is what this one looks like close up. You can see my decorative stitches more so on the bottom. I used... Um, white thread because I wanted it to blend in with the towel, but along the top of the fabric right here, it's white so you can't really see the stitching. Um, but yeah, that's the stitch that I used all the way around. And I've just like cut the fabric so that it goes right up to the seam of the towel. So that's one. And then the other one, like from this fabric, I made one like that too. And so that's what this one turned out to be like. So it has um, a fox on it and deer. I think it's really cute. Um, now, the other thing that you can do as well is just use ordinary fabric. So another one that I did was with this Christmas print here, which I think is so, so cute. Um, and that was just ordinary fabric. So that wasn't from a panel. So if you don't have panels that you've previously bought, don't go out and buy the panels just for the sake of cutting off the ends. Um, but if you have those lying around, great, you can use those. Um, but if you just have ordinary fabric that you'd like to use, you can definitely just cut, I think I cut about four and a quarter inch um, like width this way. Um, and I thought that was big enough, but of course if you had a larger towel, maybe you wanted to use bath towels instead of hand towels, just kind of cut whatever you'd like. Um, the reason I stuck with about four inches was because usually these little strips are about four. And so the first towels I did, that's the measurement that I used. And then as well, the other thing is that if you have fabric like this that's stripy and it's kind of like 
would be good for like a border print. Um, you can kind of fussy cut along certain lines. Like I think it would be neat to cut like here and here and go all the way across so that you get this little like tapestry section. And I think that would look really good on a towel as well, like just for something every day. Um, and I also like kind of like some more bold prints. So I think I'm going to do one in a fabric like this uh, just because I think it kind of looks a little Victorian, a little elegant. I'm old school. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think that's um, a really good little project to be working on over the summer if you're trying to clear out your stash. Um, if you know people who are moving, I think towels make a really cute um, housewarming gift or even at Christmas time if you're using a Christmas fabric, you could totally wrap this up maybe around like a bottle of wine or something and I think that's a really nice hostess gift for a Christmas party. Um, or just really cute to put in your bathroom or in your kitchen to decorate your home. You could put them on um, hand towels, you could put them on face cloths if you had very smaller prints of fabric. You could use them to decorate kids towels, bath towels, you could even put them on um, tea towels if you wanted to. So really the possibilities are endless and they're so so super quick they'll only take you a couple minutes um, to sew them on. So if you have any questions you can send me an email at quilters.workshop at gmail.com and if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or read my blog or on Instagram or anything like that. All my social media links are always listed down below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this inspired some of you to get crafty this afternoon and I hope you all have a great day.